Before you start using your M3D Micro, it's very important to remove the gantry clips. What are the gantry clips? Well, isn't that nice? I can hold this up so lightly. Gantry clips, if you can see them, are on either side. Uh, I guess they could be of any color. These are white. But all you do is lift them up and you keep them. You do not throw these away. They keep the head from moving in shipment. Now you can move the head back. I want to show you another feature of this machine. If you move the plate back and pull it up, you'll notice, it's a little awkward doing this in the reverse, you'll notice that there's a cavity below and I could run some of the filaments, not all of the filaments, but some of the filament types can be run from underneath the bed. That means the entire unit is self-contained. I'm going to put this back. The way you put this back, um, let me do it the easy way. I'll come up from the side. You slide the plate in like this, move it down, and then push it. I'm going to move the head a little forward. And then hold the front down as you push it forward, and it clips into place. Okay? It's that easy. Now, the bed that comes with it has something called build tack. And that's great for PLA, ABS, and so forth. But I very often print with uh, this flexible material. And what I've found is that with the flexible material, I need to use a blue tape. Now, the reason for that is that I have not been able to find a setting that will allow me to stick well and still be able to be removed completely and easily using the build tack. But a little bit of blue tape on here, and it does, it does the job. Just to prove that, here's an item that's flexible. Obviously, it's stuck to the plate. I had no problem with that. But watch this. That's how easily it comes off. Get my fingernail under here, and I don't have very big fingernails. There, see that? Clean as it can be. The only thing you'll have to remember is if you use this, you'll need to set the bed offset height to increase the height to allow for the blue tape. And we'll talk about that in another video. But I love this material. This flexible material is absolutely amazing, as is the color change material. As you can see here, we have this color changing material. There are 10 different filaments that will change color. It's great for a school project, uh, great for your kids' science project. You put it in hot water or whatever, and look, it's going to change color. Now, this water is not as hot as it needs to be to change some of the colors, but it does give you an idea of how this changes. And it also gives you an idea about how useful it is to have flexible filament as well as color changing filament. So at any rate, I'm really pleased with this printer. I love this printer. I think it's really innovative. I mean, I was impressed. We've got three of them. I was impressed by this printer when it was a, a blue printer and a black printer. But now that I have a clear printer where we're able to show the innovation that went into making this such a tiny printer, the board is amazing. The little motors they use, amazing. The other features are absolutely amazing. I mean, all of the designers of this little printer. And as you can see, I use a lot of 3D printers. I know different kinds of 3D printers. We even go right on up to the Z450 color printer, full color powder printer. This has a special place in our work with at-risk kids, and we're really pleased by it. Oh, one more thing. If you want to mount your filament externally, you can do so. There's a little hole in the head here. And you can just download this, print it off, and then mount your filament on the side and feed it into this print jet. 